guys welcome to the new video and today i will share some fun facts by which you can easily remember the mcqs but mcqs are such that you have to practice again and again so you can see here today's topic is about echinoderms and echinoderms are mostly marine they are looks like star shaped and the best example of echinoderm is a starfish and the starfish looks something like this this is the whole body of starfish and they are exclusively marine animals Starfish have a star-like appearance and somewhere they are spherical or elongated. They are exclusively marine animals and their body is spiny skinned. You can see here some spines like structures are arrived. They exhibit organ level of organization because the organ level of organization is only seen in the higher organisms. And as starfish is a higher organism that's why they exhibit organ level of organization. They are triploblastic and have a silomic cavity. The skeleton is made up of calcium carbonate. They have an open circulatory system. They respire through gills or cloacal respiratory tree. They have simple radius nervous system and the excretory system are absent. The body is unsegmented. The tube feet aids in locomotion. They reproduce sexually through the gametic fusion and bisexually through the regeneration process. Usually their development is indirect type that's why they shows the larval forms. Echinoderm phylum is divided into two subphylums. First Pelmatozoa and second Ezileutherozoa. Total five classes are present in Echinoderms. First is Crinoidea which comes under Pelmatozoa subphylum. Next Asteroidea, Ophuroidea, Echinoidea and Holothuroidea. These four classes are comes under Ileutherozoa. Doliolaria larva is seen in Holothuroidea and Crinoidea. Bipinaria and Branchiolaria larva is seen in Asteroidea, Pluteus larva is seen in Ophuroidea and Echinopluteus larva is seen in Echinoidea class. This is the system through which the total physiological processes are takes place and is known as water vascular system. Water vascular system is otherwisely known as ambulacral system. In this system, first water enters in their body through madreporite, then water goes to the stone canal, then it goes to the ring canal, then to the radial canal, then to the lateral canal, then to the pollen vesicle and by the tube feet the water goes out from their body. Here you can see the developmental stages of starfish or echinoderm. The first stage is zygote, then four cell stage, then eight cell stage, then morula stage, then blastula stage, then gastrula stage, then ciliated gastrula and then larva. From the larval stage, a adult starfish is developed. But do you know guys some amazing facts about starfish? Yes. Starfish don't have a brain. A starfish can have more than 40 arms. Usually a starfish have 5 arms. But here is the exception. That is a starfish can have more than 40 arms. Most of the starfish can live up to 3 to 5 years old. Are you guys excited to see the 40 arms or the more than 40 arms of starfish? And the image is here. This is the beautiful image of a starfish which have more than 40 arms. These are all about starfish, general characters and classifications of echinoderms. Let's move to our MCQ questions. And first question is, what does the term echinoderms mean? Tube feet, star shaped, spiny skin or stomach foot? And the answer is C, that is spiny skin. The terrestrial species of echinodermata is bristle star, starfish, sea lily or none of this and the answer is d none of this because echinodermata are exclusively marine animals echinoderms are related to chordates by their similarity in the development of gut nervous system heart or coelom and the answer is d coelom sea star has a brain yes or no and the answer is obvious that is sea star has no brain next question Lost parts can be regenerated in echinoderms. Yes or no? And the answer is A. Yes. Lost parts can be regenerated. There are exclusively dash animals. Marine animals, freshwater animals, terrestrial animals or all of these. And the answer is A. All of these. Characteristic feature of echinodermata that they are triploblastic. They have a true coelom. Fertilization is external or all of these. And the answer is D. All of these. Examples of echinoderm is planaria, flatworm, sea cucumber, all of this. And all of this is the answer. Next, tube feet is a locomotory organ in the echinoderms. Yes, tube feet is a locomotory organ in echinoderms. Are echinoderms a triple plastic? Yes, of course, echinoderms are triple plastic. 
taxonomists have divided echinoderms into classes 3 4 5 or 6 and the answer is c five classes scientists believed in that echinoderms evolved from asymmetrical ancestors bilaterally symmetrical ancestors radially symmetrical ancestors or symmetrical ancestors and the answer is b that is bilaterally symmetrical ancestors Next, echinoderms are from which period? Cambrian period, Cretaceous period, Paleozoic period or Cenozoic period? And the answer is A. Cambrian period. Class Asteroidea involves sea stars. Yes, of course, class Asteroidea involves sea stars. Ophuroidea is the class phylum Caudata. Yes or no? No, Ophuroidea is not the class of phylum Caudata because echinoderms are invertebrates. They are not the caudates. Animals present in class Asteroidea have arms 2, 4, 5 or 6 and the answer is very obvious that is 5 arms are present in Asteroidea. Next question. Sea stars are believed to share a common evolutionary history with phylum Annelida, Arthropoda, Echinodermata or Caudata and the answer is D that is Caudata. In sea stars, madreporite is the opening for digestive system, water vascular system, excretory system or circulatory system and the answer is B that is water vascular system. Madreporite are present on the aboral surface in the sea star. Yes, madreporite are present on the aboral surface of the sea stars. Class Asteroidea involves animals that are rod like. Yes or no and the answer is no because class Asteroidea involves animals that are star shaped. Next, ampulla contract and force fluid into suckers podia, radial canal and stone canal and the answer is B podia. Which structures at the tip of the podia come into contact with the substrate, suckers, ampulla, rectal cica or all of these and the answer is A suckers. Podia contract by forcing water back into ostia, suckers, ampulla, none of these and the answer is C ampulla. When the podia contracts the body is pulled forward. Yes of course when the podia contracts the body is pulled forward. Next question. In echinoderms, the mouth leads into two part stomach. Yes or no? And the answer is B. Yes. In echinoderms, the mouth leads into two parts of stomach. Echinoderms prey on oysters, clams, seafoods, all of this. And the answer is D. All of this. Short intestine extends from the pyloric stomach to urinary bladder, anus, urethra or ureter. And the answer is B. That is anus. Starfish eats bivalves such as clams, oysters, mussels, all of these and the answer is D, all of these because clams, oysters and mussels are the bivalves. Next, small fish is the food of starfish, yes or no and the answer is yeah, yes, small fish is the food of starfish. Starfish prey the shell open with arms, no or true and the answer is B, true. Asexual reproduction in sea stars takes place by binary fusion, regeneration, boarding or parthenogenesis and the answer is B that is regeneration. The endoskeleton in echinoderms is made up of calcareous plates, mucous plates, proteinaceous plates or none of these and the answer is A that is calcareous plates. What is calcareous plates? Calcareous means those plates which are made up of calcium carbonate and they are very strong that's why these calcium carbonate plates are known as calcareous plates move to the next question skin gills in starfish play role in locomotion thermoregulation osmoregulation or gas exchange and excretion and the answer is d gas exchange and excretion sea stars can grow from a small fragment such as one arm as long as at least one fourth of the central disc is present yes sea stars can grow from a small fragment such as one arm as long as at least one fourth of the central disc is present sea stars are hermaphrodite yes or no no sea stars are not hermaphrodite Pedicillaria are modified into tube feet or integumentary structures or spines or some other structures and the answer is C that is spines. Next question. Main difference between starfish and bristle star is number of arms, structure of the ambulacral groove, tube feet or pedicillaria and the answer is tube feet. The mode of nutrition in ophuroides is predators only, scavengers only, decomposers or predators and scavengers and the mode of nutrition in ophuroides is D that is predators and scavengers. 
The projections between spines and plates are called papillae and the answer is A. Yes. Ophuroidea traps food with calcareous plates between their spines. No, Ophuroidea do not traps food with calcareous plates between their spines. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Keep supporting me.